You're watching Formosa News. I'm Ken Lee. Welcome to the program. To drum up support for a service trade agreement signed with China, President Ma Zhou traveled to Taichung Wednesday afternoon for a public meeting. He emphasized the pact would do more good than harm, but had to deal with criticism for having left businesses in the dark before the pact was signed. <laughs> President Mao is in central Taiwan to host his first explanatory meeting for the cross-strait service trade agreement. Protesters were outside the venue, and inside there are more than 100 representatives of local businesses. The more open Taiwan is, the safer it is. We feel anything that benefits Taiwan should be done, and believe that we should remain on the correct path. We support you, President. While some business leaders endorsed the president's plan, others complained that information came too late. You said you've already discussed this with our industry, but we did a survey of those in our industry. They all said this never happened. Your claim seems like a blatant lie. Government officials at the event said it was impossible to communicate with every business. President Ma gave another reason for the government's perceived secrecy. During trade negotiations, there is no way to have open or public briefings. This could affect the overall outcome of negotiations. DPP Chairman Su Zhentang didn't buy these arguments. He criticized the government for lack of advanced communication and seeking support only after the agreement had been signed.